In this lesson, we're going to look at equations that have fractions where you have to factorize the denominators first. In our previous lessons, the denominators could not be factorized. So what do I mean? Well, have a look here, guys. This is a trinomial. Now, we know how to factorize trinomials. So whenever you get something like this, you need to factorize it first. So that's going to be 3 over. Now, factorizing you would make two brackets and you would eventually end up with x minus 4 and x plus 1. Then there would be minus 1 over 4 minus x equals to 2 over x plus 1. These two denominators cannot be factorized any further. Ah, now have a look here. We're starting to see a bit of a similarity happening over here. These two are almost the same, but the signs need to change. So what we do is a little trick. You switch this sign to a positive, and then you can switch this one to x minus 4. Now, your common denominator, well, there's an x minus 4, and then there's also the x plus 1. So your common denominator can be x minus 4 and x plus 1. So this means that this part, we don't need to do anything because it already has the entire denominator. This x minus 4 would still need to be multiplied with x plus 1. See, because it doesn't have the whole entire denominator. And then this one would still need to be multiplied by x minus 4. And then what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So this is going to give us 3, because this 3, we're not doing anything with that, plus 1 times by x plus 1, see how it's being multiplied by x plus 1, equals to 2 multiplied by x minus 4. Then remember that when we are busy with equations, you don't have to write out the denominators once they are the same. Because if we did, it would look like this. It would At the bottom here, you would have x minus 4, x plus 1. At the bottom here, you would have x minus 4, x plus 1. And at the bottom here, you'd have x minus 4 and x plus 1. Because they're all the same now, that's why we call it a common denominator, you can ignore them. And so now it just becomes a normal equation where you can multiply this 1 in, you can multiply this 2 in, which will become 2x minus 8. And then it's just a matter of solving for x. If you had to solve this one, you should eventually get an answer of 12. Here's another example. So once again, this cannot be factorized, this cannot be factorized, but look at this, we have a trinomial. Now it won't always be a trinomial, it could be a difference of squares, a common factor, so just look out for that. So what we're going to have is 3x plus 4 over x plus 6, actually no, I'm not going to write all of that out again. Let me quickly factorize this. So if we had to factorize this part, you would get x plus 6 and x minus 3. Aha! So have a look here. That's common in both, and this is common in both. So let me quickly write all of this out now. So the common denominator, what do you think that would be? Maybe pause the video quickly and try to see if you can work out what the common denominator is going to be. Well, well done if you figured out that it's going to be x plus 6 and x minus 3. Why is that? Well, it's because I could easily multiply this by x minus 3, then it will get to the same common denominator, which is going to be x plus 6, x minus 3. I could multiply this one by x plus 6, and that would get us to the common denominator of x minus 3, x plus 6. And then this one here, I don't need to do anything because it already is the common denominator. Now what you do to the bottom, you must always remember to do to the top. So we multiplied this one by x minus 3, this one by x plus 6, and this one we did nothing. So then what we're going to have is 3x plus 4, which is going to be multiplied by x minus 3, and then 3x minus 2, which is going to be multiplied by x plus 6, and then negative 23x. Whoops, why have I put an equal sign there? That's meant to be a minus, like that. All right, and then notice I don't have to go write out the denominator. I don't have to go put the fractions, because they're going to be cancelled out, so we ignore them. Okay, so now we just multiply these brackets together, so that's going to be 3x squared minus 9x plus 4x minus 12 equals to 3x squared plus 18x minus 2x minus 12 minus 23x. Now because we have these x squares, we can, or they're actually going to cancel, they're the same on both sides, so they will cancel out, 
And so what I'm going to, I mean, there's so many different ways to do this now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify each side. So this here becomes minus 5x minus 12. And then this part here, oh, and there's a minus 23x. It's going to become minus 7x minus 12. And sorry to disappoint you guys, but we're actually going to get an answer of x equals to 0 eventually. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean something's wrong. It just means that x is 0.